Just before the video starts, I would like to shout out T3H Gav uh, for subscribing to the channel. If you would like a shout out like them, um, subscribe to me and comment that you've done so down below. Anyway, onto the actual video now. Hello and welcome, this is Waffles1738 here, back with another video and basically this video is just uh, some more battles that we had during Zone 5. So currently uh, Zone 6 has just opened so I'm going to get a lot of recordings and there's going to be a lot of battles with that. I've already got quite a lot uh, and basically our Lost Kingdom has turned into a 4v4. And it's just light and darkness, but in our own way. So it's uh, going to be hectic. Uh, so I'm excited to record all of that and upload it here. But today this video is some five battles that NNP had with HK. And this was quite a while ago. Uh, but I decided to show it because um, it's a great battle with great reports. And uh, I didn't have time to like sort it out earlier and record that and then upload it. So I'm uploading it now and doing this stuff now, obviously. So you can see here that there is a Julius Caesar seconded with, um, well, secondary is Hannibal Barker. And then in the flag is Richard and I'm not too sure who the secondary is. It's YSG, just sort of just saw the skill so it's Richard and YSG in the flag and Julius Caesar and Hannibal Barker attacking so there's you can see that NMP are kind of controlling this area and I didn't start recording till here because I wasn't able to record earlier on but you can see here that it's quite um, equal head and head and there's reinforcements coming in for both sides constantly so that's what makes it really hard for there to be a winner. So, NMP are controlling ground, but HK will have the buffs. So, HK can easily reinforce the flag by um, jumping through cities. And when NMP are reinforcing the rally, what they really need to do is focus um, for the power up and wait for it to be done and then go for the reinforcement. Because you can see here, that sometimes they're reinforcing it badly and they're getting AOE damage from the YSG which is completely unneeded so so yeah so you can see that the rally is losing uh, currently but there's more support around it and I'm not really sure what Wild Wolf is doing there and he just does gets hit by the AOE and that's 34,000 damage which was very unneeded and that's going to be quite a bit of healing and he's he's getting a lot of AOE and you're not going to be wanting to have that you're not going to be wanting to heal that and someone's trying to reinforce but they do get there in time so again it's equal and people are actually starting to reinforce it for HK so you can see that NMP are actually focusing and they're taking as much damage to HK as possible and that's quite a lot of damage for a few seconds march so they're doing the best they can and it's paying off but still there's a solid amount of armies getting into the flag and that is impossible to stop unless you have the best buffs in the game and such like that so I think that you can see that this is just going to go on for ages because reinforcements are constantly coming in and people aren't able to stop the reinforcements because there's too much of them so HK can't stop them because NMP have too many and then um, NMP can't stop HK because they can just jump through cities you can see in the bottom right that's where Jay who is the king of 1572 has just walked in and yeah he's just causing a lot of mayhem because with that much t5 and that much buffs he's just gonna do a lot of damage and it's inevitable so he's trying to march to reinforce the flag as you can see now 
and when he gets in the flag that's a million t5 if not more going into that flag which is a lot of reinforcement but i think he's trying to stay on the open field and he's attacking the rally instead because then he won't get deads and only severely wounded which is quite a small idea i'd say because there's no point getting deads when you can win by getting severely wounded instead so that's what he chose to do but also the c5 healing cost will be a lot more than it would be if he jumped in the flag because half would be dead it'd be half as much i'd say well if not less because yeah just because it's a flag and that other people can't really attack him but he's just um stopping nmp from reinforcing the rally here and uh, he's doing a good job except uh, his armies are getting drawn away to one side so other people can reinforce from other angles and yeah that's basically what's happening here so two of jay's army is actually attacking the rally actually i think it's one and then another member of hk is also attacking the rally one infantry and one cavalry led by minamoto so you can see here that t5 players still do use epic commanders because he's using sun tzu there as his primary which is very good and another there's some nmp t5 attacking one of the jt5 armies and uh, more people go to support attacking that i just cut out a bit of the recording there because it was quite dodgy and like jumping and around but you can see here that um yeah, uh, the rally is taking a lot of damage, a lot more damage now since uh, Jay has started attacking it with T5 armies and other armies have started attacking it. So his Sun Tzu is getting low on health and is focusing on a different target other than the rally because I guess he's getting less losses this way and that's what um, he doesn't want to have as much healing costs uh, because t5 costs a lot to heal although he could probably deal with it anyway so an mp reinforcements are coming in from the left quite a lot of them and more hk players are jumping out to start attacking and um there must have been something said in hk and they're like get out and start attacking now because it's just getting a little bit more hectic now as the flag gets to low health and so does the rally because Everyone's desperately trying to keep the rally or their flag alive because they want to win this desperately. But the annoying thing is, if the rally's burning, five minutes after they can just repair with full reinforcements. And yeah, so you can see in the top right here, this is all the reinforcements there were. And you can see that that is just a lot that's uh, that's loads of reinforcements so you can just imagine how many troops are going to be injured in this report that i'm about to show you i do want to uh, say thank you to him for giving me the report i really appreciate it the rally leader gave me the report and you can see here minus 6.6 .6 million power for the attackers and minus 6.7 million power for the defenders because that's a lot of t5 but 1.1 million dead for the attackers and 850k deads for the defendants so that a lot of that is t5 and that's a lot of deaths if i lost that much power i would have no power i'd just be minus numbers but these people are a lot more powerful than me and the rally was cancelled and they tried to reset to go again at that flag and damage it again uh, so what I'm showing you here is another rally attack that um, there was. So um, there was uh, NMP, another rally attack on that flag. As you can see now, one of the cities ported out and there's less participation it seems, but uh, there's still a lot of fighting. So uh, I didn't manage to record from the start again, I recorded from here. But you can see here that the Minamoto rally is lower health than the Richard defending. So it's quite 
and J is here, so uh, there's five T5 armies of J, I'm pretty sure, out on the battlefield. So that's going to be very challenging for NMP to overcome and take down because of the buffs and the commanders and also just the amount of T5 he has. It's probably over a million out on the field, if not more, like a lot more than that. But NMP's rally is um, not getting the reinforcements it really needs to take down this flag, uh, but it's quite equal neck and neck, I'd say, here, but um, there's another rally from J coming across and I'm not too sure where it's going. I think it's going at the NMP flag. So both teams are trying to attack and defend. So yeah, it, there's going to be a lot of troops being used. It's a rally on the rally. So that just tells you how long this um, rally has been going on. And when the rally starts hitting the attacking rally on the flag, you know that that rally is going to lose because it's not going to be able to handle that much um, power against it and also since the rally against it is a tank rally there's no chance that that rally is going to lose as well as the rally in the flag because that's two Richards and they're both very tanky so yeah I think the rally would have been better off as a an attacking one because just seems it would do better because it would have got the, down, the rally down quicker but I guess they're making them suffer by getting more deaths against the flag but also making themselves suffer so you can see here this is an HK rally against NMP uh, flag so this is led by not J actually this is led by someone else and an NMP player is porting in I'm pretty sure this was when um, NMP, well, Olin from 1574, where all their main players were, they were trying to get the Sanctuary. So this was a good chance that HK tried to take. Uh, what I think is worth mentioning to you now is that HK have been fully pushed out of our zone and they went into another one, and now they're in a different zone, um, a different zone six. So. Yeah, so we did manage to get through to that zone though, and you'll see these sort of fights later in another video. But the rally against this Adolf Lennon flag is doing a lot better. The damage against it is so much more. It's, it's doing six times better, I'd say, if not more better than that. And NMP don't have the troops and support to defend at the moment because most of their players are back. Doing, uh, doing something else so they'll be back soon though and they do manage to win this battle overall but the, um, the rally won quite quite by quite a lot so the people in the flag will be getting quite a lot of deaths from that and the flag starts burning so HK clear out any NMP left around the in the surrounding area and they do it well there's one Sun Tzu army who's doing quite a lot of damage and getting quite a lot of kills with his Sun Tzu AoE uh, but he does get sent home but doesn't go home without a fight so it's kind of switching plays I'd say this is about an hour and a half after you saw the last clip so NMP have pushed them back off their territory and you can see up to the top left, HK have bought, um, built another flag, but and that was when they were the dominant side. So NMP have got a rally here, and they're determined to win. So it's kind of switched again, and now NMP are the attacking side, and HK are defending again. So it's switching from side to side, and it's always always going back and forth, and it has been like this for ages. Uh, but this was a breakthrough that NMP had, I'm pretty sure. But they did have a breakthrough at one point to get where we are now, obviously. So, the rally is uh, Hannibal Barker against uh, Richard and YSG in the flag. And it's always been Richard and YSG. It's worked well for the HK, and that's why they've kept it like that. Uh, there's not too many YSGs 
uh, on the battlefield because it hasn't actually come out yet but I think these people like got it before they came to this kingdom via jumping and such like that because they were willing to spend a lot of gems in the previous kingdom to max them out and then come so this um, rally is getting hammered by the YSG power up and it's so tanky yet got a great AoE attack it's got arguably two of the best commanders in the game defending that flag so it's very hard to overcome uh, the YSG power up is doing 30k damage to any targets in the area so it does 31k damage to the rally you can see there and if you're reinforcing at the wrong time you're going to take like 31 damage 31,000 damage as well. There's also quite a bit of open field fighting around um, this flag. Uh, NMP taking out any HK trying to reinforce and HK trying to take out any NMP trying to reinforce. Both uh, in order to try and keep their flag or rally going. So there's some more T5 coming from the NMP side. There's quite a lot of NMP T5, more than HK, it, I'd say. But you can see that, again, all these rallies have been very equal. Very equal. So I think that's just worth taking in and knowing. Because these both sides are very equal on this battlefield. And that's why it's such a good battle uh, to watch because of the like equalness and how like how I guess fair it is just to see two sides of equal um, stuff battle it out I guess but uh, you can see in the top right now that that is the um, rally so 961k dead for the attackers this was a great trade for the defenders Richard and YSG, Hannibal and Adolf Laird. I think they needed better commanders in the rally. Uh, that was a horrible trade for the attackers. Very good for the defenders. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please do leave a like on the video and subscribe to me. It would mean a lot. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye.